Oh, God. Speaking of bastards, how about the fact that these bastards at J.P. Morgan have uh, recorded record revenue during a fucking recession? Well, yeah, I mean, um, m- money laundering's you know, the name of the game right now, probably, so... <laughs> What do you mean? All that, all that PP, uh, P money that just uh, got PP'd away, you know, in mysterious ways. I can't imagine that J.P. Morgan didn't get a hands on any oh, of that. Yeah, well, that I mean, that and also, you know, they're they they got caught uh, laundering money for literal like criminal organizations too overseas. Like they were. I think they were involved in, like, some mafia bullshit, too. Like, knowingly involved in it. So, it's... I mean, J.P. Morgan, it's... Yeah. (laughs) It's, it's like, the first or second largest bank in the entire fucking world. So, you know... Yeah. I mean, the fact that they've made profit during this, you know... They they were on the banks that got bailed out. Like, I don't... This isn't surprising at all to me. They're on... Yeah, right here it says they uh, generated more than... F- allegedly oh, yeah. sent a fucking fake FedEx guy to m- try and murder a judge and her family. So, they're pretty much willing to do anything to fucking scrape money. And that includes fucking manipulating the markets and, you know, just anything. Right. Their, their sole moral obligation is to deliver money for their fucking shareholders. So, so wait, are you saying that J.P. Morgan is suspected to be behind... The uh, the no, I'm just saying that's the sort of thing that they would also no Deutsche do, Bank, in my no. opinion. Oh, they yeah, are not they, in no way connected they, to the other side, I mean, just other than the fact that they are similarly evil to Deutsche Bank, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, without a doubt. Um, because right here it says. They uh, posted a record $5.5 billion profit for the second quarter, which is more than uh, most banks typically generated before the pandemic. So, much like Bezos, such ill-gotten yeah, means, the, well, such wow. there's a reason why I stopped banking with them. I stopped banking with them, like shit probably the first chance i got honestly and this shit right people were like oh they're so convenient why'd you do it i'm like because they're a fucking terrible company man holy shit yeah yeah they sure fucking are um yeah you know credit unions would be great if they weren't so fucking inconvenient didn't exist only in your hometown yep one Single branch, yeah. No fee-free ATMs anywhere except at that single branch, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, but you know, if you have the ability, you, you gotta do. You gotta take that little little dig at big banks wherever you can. I guess I don't know. I still, unfortunately, keep you know tacit ties to this behemoth of. Uh, you know, greed just because of its, you know, ubiquity. But yeah, no, I, uh, I don't do any kind of real banking with them. It's just a convenience storage of a checking account. Yeah. Well, they're probably not. <clears throat> Cause I certainly know I'm not ever going to get any kind of fucking yeah, interest off of anything. A whole lot of money off you anyway, though, Shane. So and uh, I'm not trying to shame anyone who no, does they're banks not, they're... with Chase. I realize that it's a monopoly, and they pretty much leave you no choice. But I was able to, uh, you know, find something that was slightly less terrible. Yeah, and... jeez, check your privilege there. No, <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah, no, I. Uh, yeah, I. I I guess what I'm trying to say is I hear you and I'm ashamed of myself for still using it, but goddamn, if it's not nice having a balance free checking account that I can, you know, access anywhere that that is really it. If, if I had any other fucking option, then I would use it literally any other option the balance between the two i use um, a, a regional bank that has plenty of branches but only in just like a few states 
Oh, oh okay, yeah. So convenient, as long as you stay within the, the tri-state and area. I do. And I'm also curious about uh, how J.P. Morgan <laughs> pulled off this little magic trick of theirs. Great question. Let's see. So, shrewd moves, apparently, by CEO Jamie Dimon. Uh, let's see. So, did you what? see Jamie if he mispronounced his name on purpose? <laughs> no, is it what? It, what else it's is it? I. Uh, Probably it's Jamie Dimon. You've never you, you've never heard of him before. He's kind of infamous. Nope i uh, I haven't had the misfortune of uh, going off after you know hearing about old Dimon. Oh my God! Uh, well, that is... I'm I'm dim d- dim off my Dimon. Well, get ready to. Uh, Really love this gentleman. Hold on, guys. Wait. You guys haven't heard of Jamie Dimon? I mean, I mean come literally, on, am I right? <laughs> you don't subscribe to CEO <laughs> Quarterly? <laughs> all those bailouts. Oh, see, I just know about the bailouts. They don't put his name in the front of it generally. See, at least that's the... constantly by. But he may have even had some formal role under Obama. I don't remember. I vaguely like recognize the sound of oh. his name, but once again, you know, his he's not plastered all the time. Like, unless you're someone who obsesses over like fucking CNN all the fucking time. Yeah, well, be that as it may, uh, I guess for us unenlightened, uh, so bailouts, uh, any other noteworthy dickheadedness? Well, let's scroll down let's find out bit. together. I want to see, like, what exactly, if there's any more details involved with this, uh, this fucking bullshit of them making some ridiculous profit during the pandemic. Oh, there's Deutsche Bank. Look at there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yep, same thing that they said earlier in the article. So they set aside $8.9 billion for expected loan defaults across its operations. So, um, like all uh, debt-generating firms... They're expecting a shitload of default at the tail end of this uh, pandemic. Basically, they're just waiting to open the floodgate as soon as fucking possible to exorbitant uh, collection fees that will be slapped onto every poor soul who was dumb well, enough to take out a loan from these to fucks. to be bailed out, too. I... Sure, so can't wait for that. Oh, happen. don't worry, it's coming. Oh, yeah, it'll definitely happen because they gave out a shitload of volatile debt that they weren't expecting a pandemic to happen. So, eventually, the house of cards holding up the bowling ball is yeah, gonna well, fall in and, on itself. And, and nobody running for president right now is gonna turn down a fucking big bank bailout. Biden will fucking give in, and Trump will definitely give in. Like, Oh, yeah. Biden is the reason why these fucks are yep. so powerful as it is. He set up Delaware as a yep, fucking tax haven. He was, he was vice president and, and, under Obama, who was the one who bailed out the big banks. Of painful neoliberal yep. dog shit. Uh, Shane, open up those two links I just added under the J.P. Morgan story. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. It just hasn't reached you yet. So, on that note, the crumbling cult of Jamie Dimon, and I'm going to continue to call him that because fuck this guy. Um, so, old Demi, uh, yeah. He is so, basically like the, the arch let's uh, see. neoliberal hero. Oh, you mean like Epstein was? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, the guy does look like he could be uh, a pedophile, so, you know, I won't put it past him. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see. Uh, is anything uh, particular yeah, sticking out the here? Reason you shared uh, this? Basically, uh, neoliberals hold him up as this just sort of like demigod of capitalism. When in fact, he's just more of the fucking same establishment dog shit. He was huge in the behind-the-scenes movement to kill Bernie's candidacy this year, etc. It's a typical obama uh, era shit. Okay, here we go. And here's, here's a nice little paragraph to uh, put a bow on it. <clears throat> even uh, even uh, Dimon has an impressive record of obliviousness. Unaware that Bernie Madoff was running the largest investment fraud in U.S. history out of his Chase business account, failing to notice traders colluding to manipulate foreign benchmark interest rates, ignorant of the fact that an arm of his bank intended to park excess deposits and safe assets with well, was making massive and bizarre trades in credit uh, derivatives while obscuring the extent of its losses, uh, Demi was also somehow managed to be both aware of the fact that mortgage fraud was rampant as early as 2006 and unaware that his bank continued to scrutinize high-risk mortgages and fraudulently sell them as low-risk investments well after how, he how came to that realization. Oh, securitize. Sorry, securitize. Thank you. But anyway, so yeah, Fucker was also complicit in the housing yeah, collapse and the it, recession. Then. It, it's, so, yeah, yeah. this well, guy I can rot in hell. That, that much is obvious. I mean, being involved in the fucking crisis of anything involved in loans in general, you're going to have fucking Chase J.P. Morgan involved in that. Yep. Oh, man. So let's see what this other lovely bit of news uh, it, about it's like, uh, uh, old who's Demi. Who's that other fucking motherfucker that's a billionaire that the neoliberals love to fucking, uh, whose balls the neoliberals love to gargle? And Mark Cuban, that's right. He's another one they fucking, oh my God, they'll get coddled to that motherfucker. Oh yeah. Well, you know, he was on he was on Shark Tank, so, so he's like real and... smart. <laughs> blah 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 blah.